and we'll see you at Basic Combat Training. Welcome to the United States Army. <gasps> to help you make the transition from civilian to soldier, the Army has reception battalions at Fort Benning, Georgia, Fort Jackson, South Carolina, Fort Knox, Kentucky, Fort Leonardwood, Missouri, and Fort Sill, Oklahoma. During your first few days of military life, the Army professional that will guide you through the upcoming maze of events is the drill sergeant in charge of your platoon. The drill sergeant is a highly competent individual that you will rely on for guidance and assistance as you begin your transformation from civilian to soldier. Tonight, you'll receive an amnesty briefing where you'll be able to discard any unauthorized items you may have. You'll also receive an Army physical fitness uniform and get a quick snack before you get some rest. In the morning, you'll begin your initial process, establishing your personnel, financial, and medical records. Your new home will be the barracks, where your days will begin early and end late because you have a lot to accomplish in a short amount of time. One of the first things you'll be introduced to is the consolidated dining facilities. This is where you'll eat your meals, dining three times a day on a large selection of nutritionally balanced food. The medical station is where processing begins for your hearing, medical, and dental record. This is a time-consuming procedure and may require you to make more than one visit. This is where you'll receive a panoramic dental x-ray that will become the basis for your dental record. The x-ray will be evaluated by a dentist who may call you back for further evaluations if needed. You will also undergo an eye exam. If you wear corrective lenses, either contacts or glasses, have them with you. This will help ensure you receive the correct eye prescription as the Army will issue you new glasses. No medical evaluation would be complete without inoculations. You'll receive several during your processing time. As important as medical records are, so are your personnel and financial records. These records will be prepared at the Personnel Administrative Station. Here is where you'll start allotments, select pay options, and enroll in Army programs. A personnel clerk will conduct a personal interview to ensure the accuracy and completeness of your records. It is during this time frame that you'll receive your initial pay. This is an advance of pay, so you can purchase the necessary items you'll need for training. A list of required items will be supplied to you, and you'll have the opportunity to visit the Post Troop Exchange to purchase these items. Male soldiers will use some of their pay when they visit the barbershop where their hair will be cut to military standards. The next stop is the Clothing Initial Issue Point, or Clothing Issue. Here you'll be measured, fitted, and provided with the basic clothing you'll need for training. And just in time, because your next stop is the Photo Section, and then on to the Identification Facility. An identification card will be prepared for you. You must carry this card with you at all times, wherever you go. At times when you're not engaged in organized activities, you'll be busy with your soldierization training, a conversion process from civilian to soldier, by reading and studying your soldier's handbook that is supplied to you. Your final day of processing is moving day. Under the direction of your drill sergeant, you'll have reviewed your records, inventoried your clothing, and packed because you're in processing. Your transition from civilian to soldier has begun. You will be taken to your unit area to begin your basic combat training and embark on your military career.